I just realized that this company charged me. Mobile Zone is the business partner of UPC and therefore I had to contact UPC directly to get this solution. I never got a call from the shop manager and I kept on waiting but none called me back. Such a big company like Mobile Zone has a very very big Hello, bonjour tout le monde. J'espère que vous allez bien. I hope that you are doing fine. And welcome to my YouTube channel, Didi Le Giovanni. You know that people buy a product from a certain supplier or a particular retailer for a number of reasons. One of the reasons is that they trust the company and they know that the company has a good image or reputation. Other reason is that the retailer or supplier has an attractive price and so on. Well, in this video, you will know and understand about how bad the after-sales service of mobile zone is in Geneva, Switzerland. And to begin with, let me tell you the chronology. On the 27th of January 2022, I went into the shop of mobile zone here in Geneva. Mobile zone is a big handphone and accessories retailer that is in partnership with uh, some internet data providers such as UPC, Swisscom, Sunrise and so on. This company has so many branches all over Switzerland. On that day, I bought one handphone Oppo Reno 6 at promotional price 399.99 cent Swiss franc instead of 499 Swiss franc without any insurance against loss or whatsoever. In the shop, I settled the first payment 239 Swiss franc and the remaining 160 Swiss franc is then divided by 24 months. So I have to pay the invoice 6.66 cent Swiss franc sent by UPC to my account. Why paying at UPC? Because I'm one of the loyal customers of UPC and Mobile Zone is in partnership with UPC so this makes the business more convenient however I have paid more than what I'm supposed to pay so what is the problem during the Easter holiday I have more time to audit and reconcile my bank statement to all incidental expenses for the first quarter of the year and I come across that I've been paying 15.25 cents Swiss franc since January 2022 I actually should have paid uh, 6.66 cents Swiss franc from January uh, to the following months. So I took the mobile zone file out of a uh, folder and um, to, my real, uh, to my surprise guys, I just realized that this company charged me 605 for Oppo Reno 6, whereas the actual price was 399.99 cents Swiss franc. I trusted mobile zone at the beginning and this printing document is not clearly showing the correct amount at all as you can see. Knowing this serious issue, I say to myself that this mobile zone cannot be fully trusted. <sighs> I found the problem now that has to be solved out immediately. So what to do then? On the 19th of April, after lunchtime, I went to mobile zone shop and expected that the employee could correct the mistake he did. I greeted everyone as I entered the shop, showed the document that I um, signed and discussed with the employee who I recently learned that he is the shop manager. In our discussion, the shop manager told me that the mistake was not from the mobile zone system, instead the error in pricing was from UPC system. So he told me that I must call UPC to get an um, amendment. But I reminded him that, hey, you know, it has nothing to do with uh, UPC because I bought this handphone from his shop directly. You know what he replied? Well, the mistake is not from mobile zone system, but it's from UPC system, full point. I still have a doubt, how come? But this shop manager might be right because Mobile Zone is the uh, business partner of UPC. So I went back home and called UPC Service Center and uh, cited what the shop manager told me that the mistake was not from Mobile Zone but the error in pricing was from the UPC system. You know what the 
uh, UPC staff told me? The UPC staff explained that whenever there is a price issue with mobile zone, the person which is in my case is me has to deal directly with the mobile zone shop. So I wasn't very happy at all to get this answer because I felt like I had been ping ponged uh, by them. This m made me nervous. So I, my question was how you guys solve this problem? Before hanging up the phone, uh, UPC staff explained or advised me that um, I, I better uh, write a letter explaining the problem and cited what the shop manager told me uh, that is the mistake in pricing was not from mobile zone system instead it was from UPC system and therefore I had to contact UPC directly to get this solution. Not happy being ping ponged by them, I called the service center of mobile zone and expected to get the correction from uh, the mistake done by the employee. The staff on the phone told me that I should have contacted the shop manager at mobile zone uh, shop here in Geneva, but in this case, he would request uh, the shop manager to return call me. You know what? I never got a call from the shop manager and I kept on waiting, but none called me back. So on the 22nd of April, I called again the service center of mobile zone and expected to get some help and solution of course from them. But again, the staff on the phone told me that I should have contacted the, uh, the shop manager directly instead. So it's really irritating, it's so complicated, um, so disappointed with their service. Then I hang up the phone. On the 26th of April, I called my Belgium shop at Rue de Carros here in Geneva and I spoke with the shop manager. We discussed about the problem and how he could cope with it. This shop manager told me that the price in the system of UPC was correct, which is 399.99 cents Swiss franc. And the price that his shop gave me was also correct, 605 uh, Swiss franc. This include the insurance, which I told him at the beginning that I never wanted any insurance against loss or whatsoever because I also never signed any document stating that I took the insurance. Of course, he tried to convince me and, uh, that by saying that the price 605 included the insurance. So I decided to, uh, to come to his shop and ask him to show me which document that I signed and stating that I took the insurance. Then I came to his office and of course in the contract that I have signed doesn't mention anything about insurance. So this shop manager tried to convince me that I took the insurance and included in the price 605 Swiss franc. So he tried to make me believe what he said was correct but I don't believe him at all because this thing is kind of like make-up story. So I don't trust him. I recalled his first statement when we met on the 19th of April in the shop where he blamed uh, the system of UPC because the price mistake was coming from UPC system instead of from mobile zone. So, and the weirdest thing was that he told me that he didn't check the price that his colleague gave me which is 605 included insurance whereas I never wanted um, any insurance against loss or whatsoever and I never signed any document stating that I take the insurance. So it was totally a waste of time coming to mobile zone shop at Rue de Carros and discuss with the shop manager because this shop manager couldn't solve the problem out. And Again, he told me that I should call service center at mobile zone so that uh, they, they can uh, solve the problem. But I reminded him again and again that it will be also a waste of time because the service center uh, of mobile zone will refer me to contact the shop manager here at uh, Rue de Carros because I bought this handphone from mobile zone at Rue de Carros, Geneva. So as a client, I'm very, very disappointed. It's so complicated, especially the after sales service. I can believe that such a big company like Mobile Zone has a very, very bad quality service and management. Now I can no longer trust the way this company conducts the business because 
I don't see the willingness from this company, from this management, um, correct the mistake that the employee made. I will still ask Mobile Zone to correct the price so that UPC can make the right invoice, which is 6.66 cents Swiss franc, and adjust the payment that I have made so far, 15.25 Swiss franc. Uh, for the following months. So guys, this is a, a big lesson learned for me doing business with Mobile Zone. I don't know whether or not you guys have similar issue, but if this happened to you, then I invite you to comment on this video, how bad the after sales surface from this Mobile Zone. And so on Tuesday 3rd of May at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I would uh, make a call to the service center of Mobile Zone and ask them uh, to agree uh, that our call is going to be broadcasted on my uh, social media account or U YouTube account and other social media account. So thanks a lot guys for uh, watching this video. I'm Didi and see you on Tuesday 3rd of May at 3 o'clock.